Hello sweeties. Let's play. Let's get messy and have some fun and go on an adventure. Are you in? Grab your coffee. You're gonna need it. Hello sweeties. Okay. Let me pull up a chair for a second. Oop. <laughs> if I don't fall off of the dang thing. Okay, so I was in my art room here grabbing stuff. <laughs> oh you guys. I've been trying to get snippets of video done in between Christmas presents and all sorts of stuff out in the other room. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know how many of those have taken. I've had some tech issues or whatever, and it's like, I'll deal with all that later. So there may or may not be videos from this whole chunk of time that I've been gone. Um, we shall see. I wanted to share something with you, though. In doing Christmas presents... Um, we have a friend of ours who has an eight-year-old daughter, and this is part of her Christmas gift. Um, I've done it in the style of Tamara Laporte's um, girls. Her, she does the most amazing artwork, like, oh my god. But I wanted to get better at, at doing these so long ago, and I haven't done any for a really long time, but I thought I'd sit down and, and you know, whip up a, a quick Christmas painting there. I love the bird. Look at the bird. He came out so cute. They always look sad. My birds always look sad. My girls usually look sad, but I guess that's just... I guess that's just me. <laughs> that's just my style. They, they all come out sad or like they're reflecting or something. I wanted to share this with you. Why? One, because I'm very, very proud of it. It's, it came out quite well, I think. I've uh, got some canvases. I've got to do a couple more for other people. But in playing with that, I had so much fun in the process. It, it took a few hours, but um, I remembered that I've spent so much time on doing the Abandoned Places books, which I absolutely love. But I'm not spending time art journaling and doing that kind of, that type of creation. I mean, you're still creating stuff or making worlds or whatever, and I will continue to do so. But I'm out of uh, matte medium currently, or about out, about out. It's like, it's sad. <laughs> it's very sad. It's not going to go very far. So, um... I'm going to take a break from abandoned books for a little bit um, and get back into playing with my art journal, which I think I've got, yeah, I should have enough pages in here left to um, just get back into playing. Now a lot of this was for processing some really not awesome stuff, so they're very dark and moody and even this, it's, it's That was to help process some, some really heavy stuff as well. As was this one. Um, this I did in response to a school shooting uh, that we had locally, actually. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Doodles. I've got stuff in here I haven't finished. That was, uh, what's his name? Michael. Michael Lane. Um, this was based on a painting he did called Lost. And I love the style that he uses. I have all the wrong, um, the, the medium, the, the media I used is, is all wrong. But I wanted to give it a go just to get a feel for it. And I love that. Um, but yeah, it totally needs to be big on canvas with actual, like, acrylics and stuff. Um. Oh yeah, that's right, I hadn't slept for a very long time and felt like I was losing my mind. This one's dark for a reason. It's got a lot of stuff under here and it's um, also to do a lot of processing. Um, that's what I do though. A lot of my stuff is dark because it that's how it feels. It feels very heavy, very... like you're wading through... Um, wading through the junk. 
I do like how oh, the texture of this page, though. I've got a lot of scoring and stuff in, in the paint and gesso layers, and, and it's very, very textured. Um, that's right, it's playing with um, homemade spray inks, which I'll be doing again because I just made some for Christmas cards. <laughs> the youngest daughter and her boyfriend were over yesterday and she was teaching him how to do homemade Christmas cards. Oh my god, the cutest thing ever. <laughs> the cutest thing ever. It was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, he gave me a big old hug when they left. It was like, thank you for teaching me how to art. And he had um, just colors all over his hands and it stained his hands. Um, and it's, it's, oh my god, where's it called? The Wilton food color. Um, mixed with a little bit of hot water and, and some alcohol, right? So he's got all these neon colors all over and he's like, I'm covered in art. And it was, <laughs> it was adorable. It was adorable. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I left the uh, Christmas cards up to the kids this year. So that will be fun. They're almost finished with them. So I have a six foot table covered in, in mess. Yeah, we should have enough pages in here to play with. And this book, it was all choppy and it's not neat anywhere and I don't care. I, I love this art journal. I think that was a cereal box. Um, I can't even remember now. Oh. Oh. I didn't notice that before. Uh, whatever writing and schematics are in this paper, it's got uh, my oldest daughter's name. That's fun. But yeah, the, the, the next plan is um, to get back into doing more actual arting, if that makes sense. I have been working on acrylic pours and all sorts of stuff for other projects. And again, I've got some of these. Sorry, it's all varnished, so I don't know how much you can see. Um, lots and lots of other projects. Uh, one set of acrylic pours I did didn't come out very well at all, so I have to re-pour those. Um, what else have I been working on? Oh my gosh. Towels, tea towels, knitting. I think all the knitting projects are finished though. Um, oh, I'm making junk journals also. I thought I'd catch up and share this with you. <laughs> so I'm not missing an action. I haven't fallen off the face of the planet. I've been dealing with some big stuff and had some plan fall through that I have to rework now, but that's okay. That's the way of it, I guess. I have been doing gratitude journal, um, although I'm not sitting down every day to do it, and I will share this when it's finished. Um, however long that takes, I'm not in a rush. It, it will get done. I have quite enjoyed it though. <laughs> uh, I was getting frustrated at all the dog hair on the floor because we have three dogs and they all shed like crazy. So I was sweeping the floor again and had this mountain of dog hair. Every couple days, it's just a mountain of dog hair. And I was like, oh my God. But then it's like, I, I'm not coming from a place of gratitude. So I, I switched that, that gratitude thought on, and I am so grateful to have these puppies in my life. They're just, they're so amazing, and so lovely, and just beautiful beasties that, they just love people, you know? They just love you for who you are. They don't care that you get all crazy or whatever they're they're just the bestest friends ever so yeah I, I stuck in <laughs> some of the dog hair and I was like well that looks weird so I, I drew my puppy here you know oh and that's that's what got me started on this one I, I remembered these so I sat down and did a little watercolory doodle thing um, which led to this and now I'm gonna do some more but when I do um, 
sit down and uh, they'll be sped up videos because they take hours to do and I usually have um, music on or something um, that I can't play on these videos because it's all how I process what's going on in my life and, and all the crazy thoughts and all of that so it's a way to really bring everything in and just sit in it and feel it and go through it so um, even for this is more of a chipper piece for me <laughs> but um, even in doing this I just I totally zen out I don't talk to anybody I just I just get in the moment you know so yeah that's what's coming um, I will probably come back and add to this video oh, what is it it's just short no maybe not maybe I'll leave it here when I start doing actual arty things I also have to clean up my table because it's an absolute mess and I had to unbury it because it was yay tall with all the other projects and things um, and put away my collection of images on the left of me here before I knock them off the table or something because it's out of hand I have out of hand <laughs> mm. I'm easily amused what can I say you guys know this be I just mountains, piles and piles and piles, all stacked up. They're they're not neatly stacked. No, no, no. They're all like a pile of with it all hanging over everywhere. There is in fact a box under there that they should all be in, but I've got bigger images sitting on top. <laughs> I think that's the problem. So yeah, once I get all that cleaned up, I will come back and I will be making time to do art videos. Because I need to. I miss it so badly. I also need to get back into doing some glue book stuff. Which will help weed down my um, image pile. Because um, yeah, a whole bunch of They're not even finished. I've just stuck things in and I put in the most random of things. You know? But I love it. And I haven't made time for this in... Ooh, since the beginning of the year, maybe. I started painting in some of the things, but. <sighs> yeah, I, I got to get back to. Oh, I love him. I love him. Got to get back to glue books as well. It's funny how you go through phases, right? Where it's like, oh, I love doing this. And then you don't touch it for months. Don't even look at it. Yeah, that was a very, uh, more of a political piece, I guess. Or statement, I shouldn't say political, statement piece. Some stuff I've stuck in just because it's adorable and I want to keep it and I don't know what to do with it. Don't mind the cutesies. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, and this is Alex Gray artwork from a calendar that I had, and I had to keep it because it, oh my god, his artwork is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, why is my hippo hiding in the train station in India? Because how fabulous is that? <laughs> this is the stuff I like to do. Just put things that don't necessarily belong. I cut out the windows from this. I think it was an ad for um, Pella Windows, actually. So I cut those out, and I stuck it over top of another image. And, yeah. That's the stuff that just really gets me going. Well, that's right. This was... Oh, I stuck other stuff to it now but most of this is made out of pictures um, this this was the the photo that the artist took pictures of or, or took a picture of and then he broke it down into individual pictures and recreated the whole scene out of photographs which I found fascinating I thought it was amazing Mm. 
no. See, he's just sitting in there. He's not even, not even stuck down. Turtle. I'll show him I could use him somewhere else. Dang it. Oh, see what I did there? I, I haven't been sleeping real well. I don't, the energy's all crazy. It's just insane. And it's not for lack of trying. I keep trying to sleep. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just, I cannot sleep. And I'm not, not awake enough to get up and, and do projects, you know? I uh, just... don't have the energy to do anything or haven't had and that's starting to shift I'm still not sleeping but my creativity that was all just blah before is just coming alive it's like coming online and it's like do all the things <laughs> so I'm trying to do some things and not exhaust myself as I do but it's all random at best like really really random Oh, that's right. There's these artists. Um, who is it? Lori Nix and Kathleen Gerber. They build miniature replicas of all sorts of things. These are miniatures. Everything in here is they've made. And then they set it all up and they take a picture of it, which I find so amazing. See, look, this is how tiny these pieces are. It's amazing. I think of them as ruined dollhouses. It's like the, um, they've recreated abandoned places to me, in, in my mind. That's what, what's happened here. And yeah, it's, they're all miniatures. It's so crazy. Look at that. Oh, ah. I still want to paint a big one of these. Huge canvas. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, I apologize, you guys. I am all over the place, and um, that's just how I am here lately. So, take her to leave it. Oh my god, this is in abandoned places. I don't look through my stuff often enough. Do you guys do that? You just kind of set it aside and it doesn't exist till next time you pick it up. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> the original Matrix, right, right. I remember doing this one. Yeah, I need to get back to some of my old school projects, I think. This poor book was absolutely falling apart, so we've repurposed it into a glue book. I don't know what else I've got stashed. Oh, heck. I don't know who I was going to paint that one for. Huh. Maybe I'll turn it into a tea towel. That's what I'll do. I'll do a tea towel for Robert for his birthday or whatever. It's alright. I don't think he watches my videos, so we're cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolute devastation. Okay, I am like all over the place. So, I will leave this video here with the promise of getting back to doing more artsy things. And, um, yeah, I'll take you guys on that journey with me because it's, it's building. It, it's been sitting and growing and now it's, it's got to come out again. Let it out. So that's what I'm doing. Quick catch up for you. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I hope you can find some downtime and just meditate or just sit somewhere warm with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or whatever your thing is and just find a minute for yourself. It is so important, especially this time of year when things are just crazy um, with holidays coming and all that and just it seems very rushed. And I don't think it needs to be, but 
that's just me. But I hope you guys are doing well and staying warm. Because <laughs> that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys whenever I can find videos. <laughs> I Seriously, I've done chunks and chunks of videos and I, I'm losing bits of them or parts of them or the audio is bad or... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to roll with it. Know that I love you. And I really, really hope that you make time for yourself today. Okay? A little bit every day, actually. It's good for you. Okay? I love you. Bye!